Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we will study about a scenario related to Azure Data Factory data flow activity. So here is the scenario where we have an input data set with two columns. Okay. And we want this desired output data set. So here you can, you can see that the input data set is having a column called names where there are multiple names which are pipe separated okay so here the separator is pipe on the basis of which it is uh, separated and stored in the input data set so the requirement is to segregate these names which are pipe separated and store them into different column names so here let's say name one is stored in the name one column the name two name three name four okay so how we will accomplish this using data flow activity so let's go to the data flow and we'll create a new pipeline create a new pipeline then we'll take the data flow activity and we'll connect it to the source so our source is the same as this input data set which I have already placed in my container as split column.csv so let's preview this so the same serial number and the names column is there and we will then connect to the source so let's add the source which is there in the data lake gen2 as a csv delimited text link service is already there file path is it's inside the gen2 test input folder so we'll go to that and the file name is split column.csv let's click ok first row is having header so we'll click and we'll click ok now we'll go to the data preview so in order to view the data preview we have to enable the data flow debug option so let's wait for the cluster to get ready so that we can preview the data. So the data flow debug is enabled. Now we will refresh and the data is getting fetched. So the data is fetched here, serial number column and the names column which is having this pipe separated values. Now, next step is the segregation. How we'll do it? So there is a transformation called derived column transformation, which comes under the schema modifier section. Here we will use this transformation to accomplish this separation task. So use this and to get the detailed idea about derived column, I've already created a video. You can go through it in my channel. Then this derived column transformation will take and in this derived column settings tab we have this columns setting where we can create uh, user defined columns like for example the same names column will be divided into name 1 name 2 name 3 name 4 okay so we will here name the column as name 1 okay the new column and the corresponding expression we will write ok so open the expression builder and how we will create this name column we have to from this string from the names column we have to extract the first name ok and all the names are pipe separated so in order to extract that we have a function here in ADF called split ok so just make use of split so it will tell you to write the string to split so in our case the string to split is this names so here you can see that in the input schema we couldn't see the input schema so what is the issue we have not imported the schema so we'll go back we'll here we'll cancel and we'll go back to the source what we'll do in the projection we'll go and here we'll import the projection so the projection is imported serial number and the names it is displaying here now we'll go back to the derived column and here we'll go to the expression builder and then the string to split 
we will select from the input schema now it is showing us the input columns okay so the string to split will be names and split characters okay if you hover over the split it will show you what we have to give the string to split okay and the split characters and then to array so split characters in our case will be pipe okay so we will give here pipe pipe is given whatever is the separator we have to give here within single quotes now next if you hover over it it says we have given the string to split as names we have given the split characters and then the array so how we have to give the array it will be within this the square brackets will give the array and the occurrence so here the occurrence for the name one will be first right so we'll give here one and up after giving one we can see here in the data preview the refresh button which will refresh so here we can see the data preview so the data preview gives us the result that from these names we are getting the output as raj anandi sonal the first name is extracted using this split function giving the separator and the array okay so we'll save and finish similarly similarly we'll create the other columns so add column next column will be name 2 and the function will copy the same function and will paste here the only thing we have to change is next this time in the name 2 we want the second name okay present in that string so we will save and finish in the same way we'll create other columns so copy paste and just change it to 3 another one another one name four paste and it will be four right this is done for the columns next we'll go to the data preview of the derived column transformation and we'll see how our data looks after creation of these columns so it is fetching the result here yes so we have the original columns in place and the four new columns are created here okay so the four new columns are created next is in the output you will see that we don't want this names column we have to omit it so in order to remove any column we have the transformation called as select okay which and again comes under the schema modifier section so use the select transformation and then here from the input columns list we will simply delete this column names column so here is the delete button just delete it now we'll go again to the data preview of the select transformation and we'll refresh to see how your data looks now so now the data looks as desired we'll attach it to the sink so if we want the sink to be a table we'll attach the database or else in our case we'll land it into a csv only so let's select the sink and in the sink settings connect to the data set we want it in the storage gen2 in the location as test output this time click okay first row should have header click okay and here in the settings we have the file name option so we want it to be a single file so this will enable us the single partition and we want the file name as a split output dot csv okay so this is done now we'll validate the mapping so we have validated the data flow now we'll go to the pipeline and we'll perform a debug run so the debug run is in progress let's go to the output location which we have given to store the file so it's inside the containers inside the test output folder and the file name which we have given was split output so the debug run has completed here 
Now the split out food.csv is generated too. Let's click on it. Let's click on edit and preview. So we could see that we have got the names splitted and stored in two different columns. So we have accomplished this simple task using the data flow activity by derive column transformation and select. So, so this is how the data flow activity looks like. The, the main function which helped in accomplishing this task was split. It has helped in segregation of the names from the input column. I hope you have got the idea of the split function through this video. Thank you for watching the video. Happy learning. Bye.